everybody, this is Amanda with So O oh Side, and I'm here today to share with you how I cut out my version of the front slip pocket and square bottom hacks to the H2O to go sling bag by Lynn's Handmade. So the first thing we're going to start off with, um, you see most of everything for the bag here in your pictures now, and I'm going to list it all out for you. So obviously we need our pattern pieces, and that's our, I think it's page 21 and 22 of the original pattern. So you need to have the original H2O to go pattern in order to make this hack of um, of the H2O to go bag. Um, we've combined two hacks here. Um, I like the front slip pocket hack and the boxed bottom corners. So I find these two hacks to make this bag super, super simple and I love it. So you want to make sure you have your pattern. And then to start off, we're going to have, um, well, we have all of our tools. So I've got my rotary blade, I've got my ruler, and I've got my tape to put the pattern together and a pen to be able to mark where we're going to cut on the pattern with all of our pieces. That single piece is the only one that you need to be able to make this entire pattern. However, I print out two of them and you'll see why in a bit. Um, as far as your fabric goes, of your main outside pieces, you want to have two squares. Um, I've already gone ahead and interfaced these and I typically interface with um, SF 101. Um, if you want a little bit thicker, you can double it up. If uh, you stick around, we're working uh, with some very specific people to get us a nice kind of in between Decaville Light and um, SF 101. So you're going to go ahead and do two squares, and I'll throw the measurements up here for you, of your main fabric and one square of your contrast fabric. Now your contrast fabric is going to be 8 inches high by 15 inches wide. Okay, and like I said, you can go ahead and cut those. You can interface them and then cut them. I like to cut everything down and then interface to save time on this video. I've already done that here for you. Um, this is the important part. So for the two main pieces that we're going to be cutting out, uh, you need a 13 by 12 inch square and a 12 by 10 inch square. So. 13 high, 12 inches wide, 12 inches high by 10 inches wide. Not only is that up on your screen for you to see, but it's also going to be in the description in the um, in the video here for you as well. Um, in addition to that, like I said, that's already all interfaced as well, but you also need your waterproof canvas for the lining. Um, We're going to be able to get all of the pieces that we need out of just these fabrics. So first things we're going to start with is to make the actual pattern. In order to do that, we're going to take our pattern pieces, print it out from the original pattern. There is a link to purchase it in the description here. Uh, we're going to go ahead and put this together. And like I said, I print out two of them very specifically because I'm going to print one together to put it this way. And then I'm going to print, put, I'm sorry, tape the other one together and put it this way so that we make one big piece. Okay, so let's start that. Now, as you can see here, I went ahead and I taped, I only cut half of it so that I could have an actual overlap where the pieces go so that it gives a little bit more strength to the pieces when I, cut, um, when I, you know, maneuver them, when I'm picking them up and putting them down and moving them all over the place. It gives a little bit more sturdiness to the actual um, split of those, those pieces there. So now, what's super, super important is for the box bottom hack, we're going to start by adding two inches to the bottom of this pattern piece, okay? So we're going to extend this piece by two inches for the square bottom hack. So let's start with that. Okay, once that's done, now we're just gonna finish cutting around the other side. So I like to cut where I can actually see the line, so I'm gonna cut this side first and then I'm gonna flip it over and cut the other side. Now remember, we're not cutting the last two inches on the bottom because we need that for our square bottom hack. Once you have that all together, that is your main piece. We're gonna be using this um, to put everything together, okay? So 
So the first and easiest piece to cut out is obviously going to be our waterproof canvas. So I'm going to line that up right there and obviously you can start with uh, a little bit smaller of a square than I did. I just wanted to make sure that it would fit on my cutting mat here. Um, so we're going to line that up and cut it out. I'm going to be using my awesome Komani Creations pattern weights here. Aren't they super pretty? To keep my pattern all together where I need it to be while I cut this out. Now that we've got that all cut out, we're gonna go ahead and start um, making our measurement lines for the hack pieces, but your waterproof canvas is done. All right, so there's gonna be a couple of ways that we are going to uh, mark our pieces. Um, the first one, actually, the only one that we have to mark is gonna be the center. Now we're gonna mark the pieces for our center piece. Now remember, we cut this piece on the fold, so this mark right here is our center mark of the panel, right? So there's our center mark of the panel here. So we've gotta make sure that we mark that when we flip it over to the other side. That way you can see it from both sides if you need to. Um, but we want our center panel to be a total of five inches wide. So we're going to measure out two and a half inches from each side. And that's going to be our folding marks for the center panel. That's kind of all you have to mark. So we're going to go ahead and start with our squares. Um, and then we'll come back to the pattern piece when we're ready to cut out. First things first, I'm going to go ahead and grab my handy dandy six inch wide ruler. Because the first thing we're going to do is take our... 13 inch high and 12 inch wide piece and we're going to cut it straight down the middle so that we end up with two six inch wide pieces instead of one big square. Okay when you're done with that we're going to go ahead and flip them so that they are right sides together and then line them up make sure that they're nice and pretty and we are very simply going to take our pattern piece Line it up in the bottom corner. Remember, these pieces are wrong sides together. That way you end up getting mirrored pieces here, and we're going to cut away the excess. So that you are left with two mirrored side panel pieces. Okay, then we're going to grab our small square. We're going to set our piece aside again, and these pieces are actually done and ready to go. So we'll set those aside. And we're going to grab our second main piece and we're going to also split this in half. Now remember this one is 12 inches high by 10 inches wide. So in half means that we're going to get two 5 inch wide panels. Okay, one panel we're going to set aside. That's going to become our front pocket pieces. And this panel here, we actually have to make sure that we center this. So. The first thing I'm going to show you is we're, we've got to center out our um, our front piece here. Actually, we drew the lines on here, so it should match up fairly easily here. So five inches wide, and we're going to line up our piece and cut out the top. That now becomes our center panel. Now we're actually done with the pattern piece. That's all you need the pattern piece for is the waterproof, the center panel, and your side panels. So once we put everything together here, those become our main pieces. So we're going to set that aside and work on our pocket pieces now. Now your pocket pieces, you have two rectangles left, right? We have our main and our contrast. So first we're going to take our main piece and we're going to cut a six inch high piece. Remember, this is turned on our side now. So we need six inches here, and then we need two two inch pieces. One. Two. 
too. This is the only excess piece that you're going to have. So you can hang on to it to see if you want to use that as a pocket piece. Maybe you don't want Stitch's butt right there on the top of your pocket. So maybe we can switch it around for that. Put our zipper here in between. This piece becomes your strap anchors much later. So those are good. We can set those aside now. And last but not least is going to be our contrast. So the first thing that we're going to do, this is, remember, 8 inches high and 15 inches wide. We're going to cut this into three sections. So 15 inches wide, three sections, five inches each. Okay, two of these become the lining to the pockets. So you can line those up and set those aside. The last one we have to cut to match the inside of the zipper pocket. So again, another six inches and a two inch panel. So all in all, with all of your pieces, you should have the front and back lining of your slip pocket, the front and back, I'm sorry, the front and lining of your zipper pocket. You should have an anchor strap tab and then all of your main pieces, your waterproof canvas, your side panel pieces, and your center panel. The only thing in addition to this you need is your zipper, your zipper pull, and your hardware, which you can find all of the hardware requirements in the original pattern, but let me go through that with you as well. For your hardware, you need a zipper. Preferably, I like to do about six inches, even though I know that the pieces that I'm connecting them to are only five, but it gives a little bit more leeway once we put it all together. And you can see that when we do, when you watch the uh, construction video. So you need your zipper, you need a zipper pull, and I love the rainbows. So I actually have all of my prism hardware from Miss Nancy over at Fabric Therapy. You need two either D-rings or triangle rings, um, and a, a tri-glide slider, and your, um, your swivel clips. In addition to that, you need the 55 inch piece of webbing, and that's it. So all of this you can find in the original pattern as well. Um, I will go ahead and link Fabric Therapy for their Prism hardware here in the description. Um, zipper pulls you can get all over the place. Don't forget our pattern packs are going to be up on the website here very soon, even for the hack. The original pattern is up, but the hack is coming. So you can see everything here. It's all nice and cut. You guys have an absolute blast with this. I'm so excited to see everybody make these. Please, please um, join our Facebook group, Socations by So Oside. By all means, ask questions. Give me a shout out, join our group, show our pictures, show your pictures, show your makes. I'm really, really excited to see you guys do this. All right. Until next time. See you later.